So, Sir Walter, the new world lies at our feet. And have you given any thought, I wonder, as to what to call it? We shall name it, of course, after our beloved Queen. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry, sir. Let it pass and hail to this glorious land, Virginia. Uh. What? Who's Virginia? Why, the Queen of England, you dog. Oh, right. Except, I don't know how to put this, but she's not called Virginia, is she? She's called Elizabeth. I, I'm well aware of that, but she is, I trust you will agree, a virgin. Uh, yeah, as far as I know. I mean, I'm sure she is, but do we really want to name a country after that fact? Well, why not? Well, it seems a bit rude. Rude? How so rude? Well, you know, to other nations, bringing up the fact that our Queen's never done it seems a bit personal. They might not want to know. OK, well, maybe I'll have a think about it. Oh, uh, hang on. Remind me. Who's the captain? You are. And, and whose boat is it? Your boat. Yeah, and, and who is it that decides what we call the, you know? You do. Do I? Yes. Do I really? Yes. Welcome to Virginia. Truly, this is an historic day. Their gracious majesty's confidence in humble Columbus is vindicated. There is a western route to the Indies. And therefore, I hereby name these islands the West Indies. Uh, East Indies. What? East Indies, surely. What are you talking about? We sailed west to find them, didn't we? They're to the west of us. Therefore, they're the West Indies. Yeah, but I thought the whole point was that we were proving that the world is a globe, so... If these truly are the Indies, which, incidentally, is something else I'd quite like to talk to you about at some point, but assuming they are the Indies, then they must be the East Indies, the most easterly point of the Indies. Do you see? Do you see this? It's your hat. What kind of hat? Captain's hat. And what does that make me? Captain. Yes, it does. And what does that make these? The West Indies. Bingo. What news, number one? Captain, the Lord has delivered us to a truly wondrous land. Lush subtropical plains stretching as far as the eye can see. It's 90 degrees in the shade, even though it's November. There are herds of seven-foot-tall, two-legged creatures bouncing across the landscape at tremendous speeds. Yes. Do you know where it reminds me of? Wales. <laughs> Wales? Really, sir? Oh, yes. Do you think? What, the... Vast terra incognita with fauna and flora hitherto undreamt of by sights puts you in mind of nothing so much as real. No, of course not. Not North Wales. That's ridiculous. It's nothing like North Wales. No, South Wales, of course. <laughs> the resemblance is uncanny. Right. Does this mean you're going to name it what I think you're going to name it? <laughs> well, I, I don't know. Remind me, who, who's the captain? You are. And who's got the captain's hat, the captain's table, the captain's cabin and the captain's log? You have all of them, sir. Well, I'll tell you what, number one, you're an ambitious man. Why don't you decide what we call it? I think we should call it New South Wales. Good name. <laughs> Greenland? Whatever. 